What's up beautiful people listening and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be checking this video and it's titled Candace Owens destroys destiny in his own home. Candace is on a rampage. Ah! Yo, this is interesting. I'm excited to check this one out to hear what I've got to see. Let's check it out. But no, but I'm saying like, what are you doing when you're trying to sell the people that you know, being a hoe is cool. Smoking pot, saying I don't like, necessarily think that being a hoe is cool. Are you, I, like, are you going to age out of that? What like, I try, what I talk, because you're, you're a thirty-five year old man, right? I, like you know, and you're and you're, yep. you're kind of doing the like I'm a college dorm kid and I'm trying to make everything sound cool. But I just want to point out the fact that you're a thirty-five year old man mm -hmm. and your words should matter and they should they should have weight. Like you, it, I, like I, I said, if you were twenty, I'd yep. be like, I get it. When you're thirty-five, mm -hmm. Candace Owens has been on an absolute tear recently. We saw her go on the PBD podcast. We saw her go on Fresh and Fit, and then she went on Destiny's show on Destiny's podcast podcast in his own apartment and absolutely ripped him to pieces as you can see this tweet here from ian miles chong it says candace owens absolutely crushed this guy which is destiny by the way for promoting degeneracy to his audience he's 35 and acts like he's still in his early 20s while he sells the prospect of a woman who sleeps with 20 men each night as a fulfilling lifestyle so this is candace owens going into destiny's home going into Destiny's apartment and absolutely ripping not only his lifestyle, but his content apart because he's promoting his lifestyle to his audience. So let's check out this little debate here between Candace Owens and Destiny. You're 30, how old Five. are you? You're 35 years old. Yep. Okay, so what What are you, what is that? What do you? What do I do? Like if you were 20 well, and you were I'm saying this stuff. Well, let's say I travel the world. I get to research and talk about whatever I, I get, want. I get to yeah. talk to cool people like you and other people. I get to, I live in Miami in a high rise for 5,000 a month. I mean, I, I think my life is pretty okay. I mean, okay. what do you. But no, but I'm saying like, what are you doing when you're trying to sell the people that, you know, being a hoe is cool, smoking pot, saying I don't like, necessarily think that being a hoe is cool. Are you, like, you going to age out of that? What like, I try, what I talk, I you're don't know. Because you're a 35-year-old man, right? I like, you know, and you're, and, you're, man, and you're kind of doing the like, I'm a college dorm kid and I'm trying to make everything sound cool. But I just want to point out the fact that you're a 35-year-old man mm -hmm. and your words should matter and they should they should have weight. Like you, it, I, like I, I said, if you were 20, I'd yep. be like, I get it. When you're 35, mm -hmm. You know, say things with conviction. Say I'd things say that have meaning. Of things with conviction. Yes. You know, and like when I asked you, what would you recommend to a woman at twenty-five and thirty? I didn't just start rambling about what a twenty-year-old should do and how biologically blah 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 blah. I would say exactly what I would tell a woman at twenty-five or thirty. Yeah, I know, but your behavior and 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 I will appreciate that people that are younger d won't understand what I'm saying until you hit thirty-five, which mm -hmm. is I'm I'm gonna be thirty-five this year. Okay. You're acting like you're a college dorm kid. Yeah, and your catty insults towards people online make you seem like a high school mean girl. Okay. I mean, like, what do you mean? Like, we all have our, our things. But you're like, selling to them things that you know aren't good. So what, what do you think I, I'm so selling like, to them? If you, you were a 25-year-old, like, when I'm on the Whatever podcast and I'm yeah. surrounded by women that are in their 20s mm -hmm. and they're saying, like, you know, the whole life is good, the reason why I said to that girl that I'm going to pray for you is because I know that she's going to have a different perspective when she's older. So I don't, I'm not upset by that. I don't feel like that needs to be attacked when that woman, when that young, when those young girls are around me and we're talking about all of these topics when i'm sitting with a 35 year old man okay and what do you, you think i'm and, selling and, people and you know better okay wait, wait, what do you think i'm selling people well do you like think I said, people what, to be I, a hoe? what i said when you were defending the lifestyle of being a hoe why are you doing that i don't think i defend the lifestyle of being you a hoe. did you did a whole video basically saying that none of my points of me trying to tell these women that they essentially you can do something better you don't have to sell your body this was your like snazzy video comeback to it. Why are you making a comeback? Yes, you can make a video and be like, why can't someone do heroin? But why would you as a 35 year old man want to sell something to someone or make it seem okay or cool or relevant when you know it's harmful to them? I don't get that because of your age. So, yeah. just, like, kind of I don't tell people things. that they have to do a particular thing, but if I see somebody that's, do. that's doing heroin, I'm not gonna be like, you know, it is whatever. And it's just like, whatever. You're just, do you think you're that heroin, heroin is comparable to recreational I, I, sex? I, I am, I am if, quite frankly, I actually think a woman as the one that I sat across from when you were critiquing this video who says that she slept with up to what was it 20 men per night yeah it's just as bad and I know that that has to be hurting her soul. So I look at her as a human being. Hurting her and, soul? What yeah. if she just has a different lifestyle she than you? She doesn't. Completely. She no, does, she does, she, you know. No, she ha what do you mean, you know? She's, she's telling you, she was very honest, actually. And that's why I appreciate her, because she was very honest that for her, it is just about money. Well, Destiny is acting like he doesn't understand. And what Candace Owens is trying to say here is that even though Destiny is not explicitly saying, and, and he does, like, I used to watch Destiny's content a lot. I actually don't think he's, like, one of the worst wokeys out there. Like, he, he is very obnoxious, and, and you know, he, the, some of the stuff that he says is just really stupid. Like, the fact that he thinks Joe Biden is doing a great job, it's like, like, obviously, you don't think that, bro. Like, you're obviously being bad faith in that argument, and there's just too many of those things that happen to, for me to actually watch him consistently anymore. It just, like, infuriates me to, to, to sit there and watch him. But I don't think he's one of the worst woke people out there. Like, I think he logics his way into a lot of the positions that he has, and that's why I'm able to respect it. You know, same thing kind of with, with people like Joe Rogan. 
Like, if you're able to actually walk, like, if you could logic, if you could see yourself logicking your way into a position that somebody else holds, for me, I'm not going to get super mad at you for that. But if someone says, oh, yeah, Joe Biden is just a great president, like, I, I fully, like, I, you can't logic yourself into that. There's just no way. So I know that's a bad faith argument. And whenever I see that pile up too much, it's just kind of hard to to actually watch someone consistently. But what Destiny is failing or acting like he's failing to understand is that even if you're not promoting it to your audience and explicitly stating you should act the same way as me, obviously people who watch you are going to be younger than you, especially if you're 35 and you're like a Twitch streamer, YouTube, YouTube streamer, people who watch you are going to be younger. So they're going to be influenced. They're going to be impressionable people. And whenever you're living a certain lifestyle and you defend it to people, you are going to, you know, you're basically promoting it to those other people. And you have to realize that. And maybe just, just maybe, even if you do want to live a lifestyle that you think is good for you and not good for anyone else who's watching you and that you wouldn't tell anyone explicitly to go live that same lifestyle if you have all these things that you listed in the beginning of this video you know the high-rise apartment you're a multi-millionaire you get to go travel the world and research cool things whatever you have all of that maybe it should come with a little bit of a sacrifice and maybe you should live a lifestyle interesting hearing them go over and over again and say he is 35 is this is that well i don't believe age equates common sense or age equates sensible person i always believe that it's dependent on the people or on the person not age a 25 year old person might be reasoning or might be having some better sense or ha might have common sense than a 40 year old person a 35 year old person a 36 year old person age doesn't it does not equate common sense or age does not equate sensible person so when she keeps rampaging and saying he's 35 the fact that he's 35 doesn't mean he has to be sensible or it doesn't um ha mean that he has to have common sense have you ever heard of a fool at 40 well that it is there for a reason because some people regardless of how old you think they are they can still be foolish regardless of their age and still not have common sense it is and him depending on based on his content he knows his target audience he knows what he's pushing this for this ad and his own uh, and he knows who is pushing this ad is also dependent on the consumer is this the type of content you want to be consuming do you want to be doing this for the rest of your life do you want to be motivated by this it's also dependent on the consumer because i mean for how long will you go out and say oh somebody should not be posting this people will still be doing it and i mean i'm not even supporting or in support of what destiny is doing or what or what i like and all of this but i mean this type of content or this type of thing exists for a reason and they've been here for a really they've been here for a really long time and there is no taking you it's, it's not possible to take it away but at the same time i always believe that if somebody is pushing out a certain content and it resonates with the viewer people are gonna watch it's dependent on the viewer if this is what you want to watch you can control yourself and also people should realize that adulthood does not equate age as well some people can be an adult be 35 40 and still behave like a child or still be a child it doesn't mean that because they are 35 then you expect them to be an adult in the room or to be an adult that's why i always say that regardless of the age we've got some people people who are adults in disguise but are grown children and that is there for a reason so saying 35 you should know better come on i mean that it that to me don't even sound it doesn't even sound right because i don't expect everybody by age to know better or to be reasonable i mean we with the way things are going we've seen how 80 year old person 70 year old people 60 year old people behave do you go and tell them oh they should know better well they are adults in the they are they are supposed to be adults regardless of their age but this but their actions still depict and show that they are children so there are some kind of conversations you all hold with these people and you know that nah this is still a child who is in disguise of being an adult regardless of the age so point pushing the age being there honestly is completely unnecessary but yeah let's go and maybe you should live a lifestyle of someone who could be a role model i'm not saying that everything in your life needs to be absolutely perfect that you need to be the the world's perfect role model 
but maybe don't live a lifestyle to where you can be so easily attacked and have to defend the degenerate lifestyle that you live to your audience all the time. Because whenever you're having to defend yourself against people like Candace Owens all the time, who's calling out your degenerate lifestyle, you start to put the seeds into your audience's mind and, and solidify those ideas in your audience's mind that, you know, destiny has brought up all these great defenses for this degenerate lifestyle. So maybe I should live the same lifestyle as well. You know, and I know that's a very long winded explanation, but that's what destiny's either failing to understand or pretending like he's failing to understand and that Candace Owens is just trying to get through his brain here. If you enjoy content like this, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. It really does help me out a ton. Let's get back to the video. Okay, but when I see that individual, when a young woman is saying that she'll sleep and see up to 10 to 20 clients per night, that's a broken individual. And it's just as, it's and when, you, just as when you see what? somebody who says that, you know, they're doing heroin or doing this, they don't need the guy, the cool guy at the party to be like, yeah, man, it's whatever. Like, it's like, no, you actually like structure you need somebody to say to you you don't have to do this there you there's so much better potential within you you are young you have your entire life ahead of you let's figure out what it is that you're great at i understand the economic concerns it's a really tough economy and it's easy money but there's other things that you can do to make money that will give you better self-value and so that's why i say that i think that what you're doing as a 35 year old man is you're you're lying you're just lying do you think Yep, 100%. He is just straight up lying to people. And even though he's going to say, I already know what he's going to say, because I, like I said, I used to watch Destiny all the time. He's going to say that he's not explicitly telling anyone to live the same lifestyle, but you're you're lying to people by living the lifestyle and then defending it to people like Candace Owens. Like he's pressed on this lifestyle all the time. Like probably every single stream that he goes on, like every time he goes on somebody else's panel or something, he's getting pressed on his lifestyle. Like the way that he has open relationships and stuff like that. He's always getting pressed on this. So every single time he goes in and he defends the lifestyle, he's he's planting the seeds in his audience's mind that, you know, they can live the lifestyle too. And Destiny has all these great defenses for it, all these reasons why it's a good lifestyle to live. So why can't I do it? Candace Owens actually responded to this tweet of the debate mm -hmm. between her and Destiny. And Candace Owens says his age is so shocking, absolutely predatory for a 35 year old man to suggest to young women that sleeping with tons of men for money is an inconsequential life choice. Creepy stuff. Ian Miles Chong then responds to that as well and says the epitome of the liberal mind. He has no sense of decency. It's all a social construct. This person says, and you telling other younger people how to live their lives as a 34 year old woman is not creepy. You don't make sense lady and i just i don't understand these people you know it's obviously two very very different lifestyles that are being promoted here candace owens like more trad con promoting that lifestyle that people have lived for hundreds and hundreds of years now like that's how people have lived for the longest amount of time and it's worked very well now this degeneracy wave has come along with like feminism and all that stuff that you know that destiny is trying to promote that candace owens is trying to you know say that he shouldn't be promoting and you're saying that Candace Owens simply defending the way of life that has worked for us for the longest amount of time is creepy. And that just doesn't make any sense at all to me. But they know that. Once again, that's one of those arguments. That's one of those stances, positions that you can't logic your way into. So it's just, you, you know it's bad faith. You know that that person is part of the woke cult. And we'll just go against Candace Owens at all costs. Anyway, let me know what you guys thought about this clip here from Candace Owens and Destiny, this debate. I thought it was a pretty good one. If you haven't watched the full appearance on, on Destiny's show, in Destiny's apartment then you should probably go check it out because it was pretty cool to see, you know, the, the conversation. And there were some heated moments like this one, but there was also some some nice points of conversation as well. So if you haven't watched the full appearance on Candace, of Candace Owens on Destiny's little podcast, show, stream, whatever, then go, go check that out. If you did enjoy the video, please leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I hope to see you guys on the next one. Well, I'm going to say it from a different perspective. Um, I understand what uh, Candace Owens is trying to say, where she's coming from. I understand where Destiny is coming from and what they're saying. I'm not a fan of Destiny, of his content or what it promotes. But let's look at it this way. There is a, there is a reason why we have people like Destiny creating content like this, pushing it to a certain audience. And there is a reason why we have people like Candace Owens pushing a message or sending a message and she has a particular target audience. So her coming to say, well, yeah, he's a 35 year old person, he should know better. Well, I, I can't remember the last time we ever have to equate age to adulthood or age to common sense or age to people knowing better haven't you seen a 20 year old a 25 year old person a 26 year old person behaving in a certain way that is, isn't expected for their age and you wonder if this person um 
is actually the age they are telling you about or they they are more more than because some of them they have more experience than or better experience or adult experience better than somebody their age or somebody who is older than them so coming to say he should know better because of his age that's that's honestly is not like no that's that should be out of the way but again saying his lifestyle well he has a target audience and their market there are people for it that there are people that are feeding into this it's also dependent on the audience so how coming to on his channel to say to say this well the right message would be passed across to the people the people that want to um, um change their lifestyle or change their thoughts would resonate or would switch or would listen to a message and buy the idea and move on to that i mean i'm not a supporter to say that oh i am promoting or saying what destiny is doing is right now nah, that is not what i'm trying to say i am just saying that because there is a market for it based on what destiny is doing you've got people who are buying into this so is that gonna stop him from doing it the answer is no because he knows what he is doing he, he might be pretending he doesn't know understand what she's saying or he might be pretending that he don't care but all the same this is what people is built his platform on and this is what people know him for it's dependent on him when he's ready to change and see it differently but other than that she is coming from a different place with the good intention but he is coming from a different place whatever with whatever his intention is and his um, content is mostly for some particular group of people and for particular age group of people as well it might be his age group of and it might even also be a shocker that you you will have people older than him that watch and enjoy his content and buy into his type of content i mean we get we see this all the time she has an interesting point sharing what uh, she knows best or doing what she knows best but at the same time she goes on to this platform for a reason because um there are people that this message would be right for so they listen and it, if it aligns with them then they resonate or do or shift to the other side instead of forcing people to think or be like like you or think like you now that is what um i would not be supporting because you can't always force people but you can't force people to see things the way you see it because why force them because if you're forcing the people then they will continue they will want to know the reason why you're telling them not to do this so they reason they drift and they go back to that same message that you're telling them is bad for them or you're telling them not to do it i mean there are different people today some people you force them and they'll be like well you're making sense but other people will be like well why is this person telling me not to do this i want to do it and see what will happen so i mean my point here is that age thing is where the problem is i don't always expect um a 30 year old person a 35 year old person to know better it depends on where, what comes out from their mouth or what they say to me or how they express their thoughts or views that is how i judge them categorically i don't say oh because you're a 35 year old person or because you're a 40 year old person you should know better now nah. because there is a saying that goes a fool at 40 mm -hmm. you know the you can complete the remaining so no We've also got people who are, are in their twenties and still know better than, or still know better and still behave uh, like adults better than people that are older than them. But this is an interesting conversation. Yeah, people will not see and understand that Candice Owens' um, platform is promoting a certain lifestyle, and Destiny is promoting a certain lifestyle, and they are for two completely different audience, or they might even be for the exact same type of audience but it also depends on the consumer as well but let me know what you think about this i'm sure tons of people have interesting things to share i really love you to share that you can share all the useful information you think might be really helpful make sure to like comment and subscribe and all of that stuff and until next time see you in the next video